Hello friends, welcome to the series of lectures on digital marketing and e-commerce. I am Dr. Suchita Vishwakarma, Assistant Professor with Department of Management, School of Management Sciences, Lucknow. Today we are going to talk about electronic payment system and we would also talk about the electronic cash and the smart cards. Now students over here in all our previous conversation we have always talked about what is, the, what is digital marketing and we had also discussed the various strategies or the methods which are used in digital marketing. Now it is um, at this point very very important to understand that the success ratio of digital marketing will, would obviously be depend, will depend upon the number of sales or number of, number of conversions that are happening on the online interface. And for completing the sales, uh, sales activity uh, obviously the exchange of money is very much required. That means the, uh, the customer needs to pay back the amount the money to the, uh, to the uh, I mean a seller in order to receive his, uh, his products or services. So over here it is very very important to understand that what are the different options which are available for the customers to do their payments. So in today's lecture we would talk about electronic payment system. So let us get started with it. So let us first understand what is electronic payment system. Electronic payment system refers to the paperless money monetary transactions. Uh, in, off, in offline kind of transactions whenever we go to market or, or, or any particular shop to purchase any particular product or service, uh, in exchange of the product and services we, uh, we um, give the uh, we give the money in the form of uh, the paper money, the paper money or we may also at times give the checks in exchange of the products and services but this is absolutely not possible in case of online transactions and so there was a requirement of paperless monetary transactions so e payment system is a, is basically a way of making transactions or, or doing the payments for goods and services or uh, on the electronic medium and these uh, these can be done through var uh, through various methods which have evolved over a period of time and these are also called as internet pay payment system or online payment system so let us go in more details about it <coughs> so uh, there are basically three types of uh, electronic payment systems which are very very prevalent among the people the first being the one time payment system from where the customer uh, customer pays um, the vendor, the supplier or the maybe the, the seller of the good in one go that means I have bought a, purchase, a particular product online, I have ordered a particular product online and for which I want to pay the, uh, the, the vendor one time after which the transaction will completely close once I have received the good. The second uh, option could be a recurring payment system from the customer to the vendor that means these are basically uh, I mean uh, alternatives to EMI options which are uh, provided by the bank or which are also provided by various vendors also. So in, uh, in the case of uh, recurring payment system what happens that the customer may opt for uh, opt for uh, for uh, purchasing a particular product against which he agrees that he would be doing the payment uh, dividing the I mean the complete amount into maybe 3 installments or maybe 6 installments and over a period of time he would be dividing that money into equal into uh, equal installments and, and would be doing over a period of time of maybe 3 months, 6 months or so on. So this is kind of recurring payment from the customer to vendor and then the third uh, payment option uh, is the automatic payment from the bank to vendor where the customer the who has purchased the particular product or, or the um, service has authorized the bank or the financial intermediary to debit his account his um, th and uh, pay a certain amount of money without asking repeatedly from the customer to the vendor's account. That means I have allowed the bank, I have given an instruction, a standing instruction at one time that from my account you can keep on debiting certain X amount of money every month for a period of let us say one year and keep on paying that particular X amount to the vendor. So this is called an automatic payment system from the bank to vendor. The, these basically are used very much into in case of per, maybe in case of purchase of uh, high value products or it can be also used in case of purchase of I mean um, for doing certain investment services or, or such kind of things. So uh, we will understand it one by one. 
before going uh, much deeper into the methods of e -pay payment system, let us talk about the advantages of e payment system and why they are becoming so popular and why it is uh, helping the vendor and the customer both of them in increasing the sales. So, the first is increased sales and profit, how does it happen? <coughs> now, the simple concept is that uh, since uh, people nowadays are preferring to purchase online because they feel that it is more convenient, it provides more of array of, uh, it showcases or displays more of array, array of products and, uh, and hence why um, there are various benefits because of which the people are now opting uh, online uh, purchases in, in uh, comparison to the offline purchases and this uh, this obviously when is backed by the various kinds of payment methods which uh, which can be conducted online which includes the payment methods like e cash payment methods like credit card debit card e wallets or or other things then obviously uh, because uh, all the people may not have may not have an access to similar kind of payment op payment system so, uh, uh, by providing these, these array of a payment system options by the vendor, the customer uh, becomes very, very uh, feels very, very convenient and it becomes uh, probably, uh, it becomes very easy for the customer to, uh, to, do the, uh, to do the payment and so this helps in boosting the sales and the profit of the organization. The next, re uh, the next reason uh, of uh, uh, popular usage of e-payment system is easy integration that means these payment systems can be integrated with any kind of e-commerce portal or any kind of website and so, uh, so uh, uh, one particular website can offer many of the payment systems simultaneously and uh, so the customer can choose among which kind of payment system they would like to opt for and so that, that again is, is one of the reasons of increased usage of e-payment system. Then, it is it becomes uh, the third reason is detailed reporting because uh, it becomes very very convenient for the vendor also to have a detailed track of whatever transactions have happened over the over a particular period say for example a day a month or or so and it and the, at the same time it becomes convenient for the customer also to to track their transactions that means what is the amount that that they have paid how much money they have uh, transfer to which particular uh, which particular supplier. So, a de detailed reporting can be done and uh, basis which obviously analysis can be done uh, for better understanding of the consumer behavior from the uh, from the vendors end. So, this also is very very uh, this is also one of the reasons why e-payment system is nowadays more promoted. Then invoicing options, uh, making invoices is, is more easy, convenient because uh, invoicing is, uh, I mean, uh, once the, the customer has ordered a product, the online invoicing can be done and the invoice can be sent instantly to the customer and the customer after receiving the invoice can do the payment uh, right there. So, this, this particular transparency has also led to the increase, uh, increase in the e-payment uh, adoption process. Then fast processing speed, obviously the transactions are quite, quite, quite very fast, uh, anyone can do uh, these kind of transactions uh, and it does not take more than 2 to 5 minutes and uh, depending on the obviously the internet speed that is, that is there with the customers end, uh, the transactions can be processed very, very fast. Then obviously there is a lot of convenience because it does not need any, any money to be carried uh, along with you and there is no concept of stealing of the money or, or such kind of things. So, uh, in, even in case if you are not at home and you are sitting apart from somewhere and you are not carrying cash then also you have the options of purchasing the particular product if you, are, if you have like that. So, it brings a lot of convenience to at the customers end. And apart from that, there is a flexibility option also. Flexibility in terms of the uh, uh, in terms of the mode of payments that I want to do. For example, one-time payment uh, or the recurring payment or the the method through which I I want to pay pay or uh, whether I want to do it instantly or whether I want to do it fr from my uh, my account or someone else account. So so these are the various kinds of options which are available, and see these all together uh, brings a lot of synergistic effect in in enhancing the um, advantages of uh, e-payment system. So now uh, though. We know that uh, e-payment system is becoming very, very popular and is now being adopted by many people uh, across the world. It does have certain disadvantages also. However, the vendors, the companies and the government altogether are working a, a lot and are trying to uh, 
to reduce these disadvantages or are uh, or are rather uh, trying to uh, to uh, to to um, i mean doing lot of things to to overcome these challenges so the first challenge being the security problem that means even though the uh, the government and uh, the vendors have started lot of i mean have uh, have lot of strong uh, security systems and uh, the cyber crime uh, is also in place but still there are chances of the fraudulent activity stolen of otps stealing of otps uh, or um, or even uh, such kind of things which which may uh, may act as a, a lack of security as a result the, the transaction that has happened may go to go get diverted to some other account as a result of the customer and the vendor the genuine customer and the genuine vendor may not receive the money so this is one of the challenges we face by the e payment system even nowadays the second uh, the second uh, challenge is increased cost required to protective sensitive sensitive uh, data so uh, the vendor needs to ensure that the that whatever the transactions are happening are of, uh, are happening through the encrypted uh, data transfer system and for that obviously the uh, the vendor needs to ensure that the system that they are using or the payment gateway that they are using are very very safe and for that obviously they need to pay a lot of money <coughs> And the third reason is the technical so support and the servicing, because uh, the vendor may also require certain merchant or may or the payment system, uh, payment gateway system to be installed. So these things would may require a lot of technical support because the vendor may not be uh, may not having may not have uh, the sufficient technical uh, expertise to handle all these things. So for that also, obviously, some cost would would uh, incur. And these are the various challenges which however the most of the companies are now trying to overcome but still does has certain app impact in the e, e payment system uh, even today now moving further let us talk about how e payment system works now uh, as you can see that these are the, these are the various kind of intermediaries who are involved in e payment system the first is the merchant merchant is basically the vendor from whom we are basically purchasing the product so we can, you can uh, you can understand this uh, this uh, concept of merchant as maybe uh, the seller or the distributor or the supplier of the good then obviously the second is the customer or the card holder so someone who is doing the payment he may be the customer consumer or any anyone who known to the customer or consumer that means the person who is basically having the who from whose account or from whose uh, uh, i mean uh, electronic uh, payment system uh, whose uh, um, I mean uh, account obviously the transaction is going to happen then the third is the issuing bank that means the transaction has to be get routed to a bank because some financial intermediary is required so obviously if in fin case you are doing it through debit card credit card obviously these these things are issued by a particular bank so so the uh, the third uh, intermediary a third party that is involved is in such kind of transaction is uh, is the issuing bank then the acquirer acquirer is basically the person who has acquired uh, the uh, the uh, i mean um, the card right now and is doing the transaction then we have payment processor and payment gateway system payment gateway system is basically a uh, technical interface through which the transactions happen so it could be a, a so it could be basically master visa or any kind of interface through which the transaction has happened and the and the payment processor is obviously again uh, again the the party or the intermediary who is uh, who is responsible for uh, for uh, verifying that the transaction is has happened and verifying the amount of money that is there in the in the card also and then uh, and then uh, doing the trans and completing the transaction so these are the basic uh, these are the various people parties who are involved in the payment system now let us also talk about the classification of e payment system so we basically have three kinds of three broader categories of uh, of uh, e payment system uh, methods first is the banking and financial payment system then the second is retailing payment system and the third being the online electronic com uh, commerce payment system so let us talk about all of them individually so the first being banking and financial payment system this is the most popular and prevalent kind of system which most of us are using and again they they can be divided into uh, various categories for example the bank to bank transactions the automated teller machine transactions or even the home banking uh, banking or the bill payment system which happens to the mobile apps 
or may, maybe the website interface also. So, these are the kind of banking financial transactions which, which is just a replica of the bank where I am not supposed to go to the bank, but, but through, the, uh, through the mobile app or through the website of, of my bank, I am, uh, I am doing the transactions and I am sending the money from one account to another account, maybe, uh, maybe from uh, my account to the seller's account and so. And uh, even uh, can be done through automated teller machines also at times. For example, various banks now nowadays have uh, have started uh, giving the options of doing the bill payments of the electricity of of the water tax or so, or so through the ATM machines also. So these are again for the retail payments, and then obviously through the apps. Then we have retail pay, payment system. Retail payment system is basically those payment system in which small amount of money is transacted by the customer. And uh, the purpose is uh, purpose of the transaction is totally personal, and uh, I mean uh, the number of transactions are large. However, uh, while the amount that is transacted is small, and so for this for these kinds of purposes, the banks and the financial intermediaries issue various kinds of uh, of electronic payment system methods, which includes the credit cards, which are offered by Master and Visa organizations. Then we have private label uh, credit cards and debit cards, which for example, J C Penney cards, and also. And then we also have the charge cards, which are usually, ex, uh, I mean, uh, uh, which are usually the popular ones are American Express. So basically, these kinds of retail payment, uh, retail payment options allow all kind of transactions to to be done, and the customers can use it in uh, while shopping or while uh, purchasing any kind of product or services online. Then the third kind of payment system that we have is online electronic payment uh, payment commerce system. And these are again categorized into two forms, the token based payment system and the credit card based payment system. So, the token based uh, payment system is one in which uh, we uh, the customer applies for a particular amount of token, maybe the cryptocurrency or, or any kind of thing and where, where for every transaction the, the customer has to apply from the bank to get a token and then uh, that particular token once received by the customer is transferred to the merchant. While in credit card based system, uh, system basically what happens that that the custom uh, that the customer already has a card which has preloaded money and which he can use anytime whenever he wants to do, do the transaction. So obviously we will be talking about both of them individually and in detail. So let us uh, proceed further. So let us talk about the token based payment system. Uh, the first token based is, uh, payment system is eCash. This is a complete replica of the of uh, the the I mean physical cash, so it is just like the physical cash that you are carrying, and it is also called as crypto. Uh, it is ba basically based on the uh, cryptographic system, and requires digital signatures also. So cryptographic system basically is a is kind of a system which uh, which allows the data to be shared to only few people and not to be public. So electronic. So once uh, this electronic cash is uh, system payment system is being used between the customer and the vendor. Only the only there will be two or three parties who would be knowing about this particular transaction, it and it would be completely encrypted, and nobody else would uh, would be able to know. So for encryption purpose, this e uh, cash payment system has lot of uh, lot of. Uh, passwords and codes, uh, there are certain codes which are public, there are certain codes which are private and so each time the verification process has to be has to be done. So, once the customer is applying for the e-cash, uh, once uh, again uh, from the bank then obviously there needs to be uh, needs to be an exchange of OTP so that the bank can, ver can verify that the e-cash that is being transferred from the, uh, from the <coughs> Bank sent to the customer is being received by the uh, by the right person or not, and then again at this and uh, and then obviously once the customer transfers the amount to the uh, merchant uh, again the uh, uh, exchange of passwords happen, and similarly verification happens uh, from the merchant to the bank also. So uh, this particular payment system is 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 convenient. However, um, it is only one time. That means every time the customer wants to do a e cash transaction, has to apply it, and so it is quite safe also. So uh, the the very famous organizations or the or the players of e electronic cash system are M Pesa and PayPal. However, in India, we are not very much used to the PayPal and M-Pesa 
concept we are more comfortable in uh, using e wallets and others but these are the uh, are still very very uh, very very popular ones and uh, basically e money uh, in in this particular method is not held by any card but is uh, is transferred through servers and and to the devices so these are also called uh, popularly referred to as digital cash or digital currency or e money now proceeding further let us also have a look on how transactions happen through electronic cash. So, over here you can see that there are three in uh, there is involvement of three parties the bank, merchant and the customer. The customer has requested for the coins which has been transferred by the bank and once the customer has received the, uh, the coins it is transferred to the merchant which is deposited by the merchant to the bank and when, and when verified the product or services are transferred to the customer. So, this is how e trans e uh, e-payment system happens through e-cash. Now, moving further ahead to the debit card payment system, <coughs> this is one very very popular uh, popular system uh, of e-payment which most of us are using every day. So, debit cards are, are basically uh, cards as shown in the picture itself are small cards which are issued by the bank and they are related uh, they are connected to our uh, our accounts our bank accounts so uh, through these cards these ba these cards at the back have a magnetic strip and uh, which which uh, has a uh, lots of codes uh, encrypted uh, i mean uh, encoded in it and has complete details of all the informations related to the particular person the card holder that means the customer's name the account the amount of money held and, and all ki such kind of things so uh, the debit card payment system allows us to transact them and uh, to use uh, the money that is held in our account so this this is as i said that these are connect to our bank account. So, whatever amount of money is there in our account can be can be used for the purpose of withdrawal can be used for the purpose of transactions through this debit card payment system. Then we have smart card smart cards also smart cards are the cards uh, are somewhat like the uh, somewhat like the uh, debit card, but these have small chips and these small chips are basically integrated uh, circuit, uh, circuits which have lot of informations and these are again pocket size cards and uh, and the, these uh, integrated circuits helps the uh, holds lot of information and make it makes it very very secure form of payment so they um, these uh, <coughs> smart cards can be used in uh, used in two ways like the contact smart cards and the contactless smart cards in case of contactless smart cards one does not need to swipe these cards they simply needs to get it get it close to the device and uh, by sharing of the of the uh, i mean uh, by uh, by uh, through this uh, through this the information is uh, exchanged and shared so they are basically uh, they connect to the reader either by the physical contact or, or even by the RFIDs and so it becomes very very easy for the vendor to authenticate and identify that uh, that whose card it is and accordingly store the data and the application of transaction happens. But then there are various pros and cons of smart using smart cards also the, uh, let us uh, understand them uh, one by one. The, uh, the advantages of using smart card is that it, it is very very safe and secure it has since it does not has a magnetic strip. So, the chance, chances of fraudulent activity gets reduced since it is an integrated circuit uh, device. So, the data is very very safe in it and once the information is, uh, is stored on the smart card it cannot be deleted and erased or altered. So, that uh, again reducing the scope of fraudulent activity. Then it also enables the users to access more than uh, more than one different services that means uh, the the person who is using these these kind of smart cards can use this particular card for various various reasons but there are certain disadvantages also that not all smart card uh, readers are compatible for all the smart cards so they uh, f in case of vendor they may have to keep various other different different readers for reading different kind of smart cards and they are still vulnerable to certain types of attacks however they are much 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 safer than the, um, the uh, debit cards. The other type of payment uh, method system for e-commerce are prepaid cards and uh, bank transfers and e-wallets. Prepaid uh, cards are basically uh, basically somewhat like the debit cards which are loaded with the money they are 
uh, and uh, however, uh, there uh, and some are I mean uh, in between the debit card and the credit card because the credit card has a lot uh, has a larger limit while the debit card in case of debit card you use your uh, the money that is held in your account why in case of prepaid card there is small, small amount of money which is loaded in the card which you can use for the purpose of gifting also. So, maybe it ranges from uh, I mean the, the amount that is loaded in the in the card can range from 1000 rupees to even lakh <coughs> to even a lakh and in this case what happens that uh, it, they, these can be swapped in any kind of uh, uh, store uh, offline store also or can be the card can be used as similar as like the debit card and the credit card for doing the online transaction also. So, these are the prepaid debit cards. Then we have uh, bank transfers and electronic transfers and there are various kind of uh, electronic bank transfers that happens the first being the NEFT, RTGS, IMPS and UPI. So, NEFT is one, one mode of uh, payment in which uh, the money gets transferred from and uh, from one account to another account of the same bank or maybe of the other bank also and the limit of the amount the limit of the amount is obviously not more than 2 lakhs while in case of RTGS the amount of payment exceed uh, the limit is uh, there is a minimum limit that means the uh, amount lead needs to be at least 2 lakhs for RTGS transfer and again uh, this happens at on a real time basis while in case of IMPS it is a immediate mobile uh, payment system which happens through uh, through the mobile obviously and then there are unified UPI methods also in which you can do the transactions through your account only. <coughs> then we have e-wallet e systems also, e-wallet systems are basically software based systems that, that secure store uh, that securely stores the user payment information and pa and, uh, and through the usage of passwords you can share uh, share the inform uh, share, you can do the transactions and for if for e wallet uh, wallet system you need to have a mobile because the the wallet uh, is basically stored in your mobile and you need not go to any any bank you can physically download the e wallet app and then uh, have an access to the e wallet system so let us uh, quickly have a uh, have a look on the few statistics that uh, how uh, e payment system has improved over a period of time as per the aci report worldwide uh, they have uh, released a report that indicates that 70.3 billion uh, billion p uh, real time payment transactions were processed globally in 2020 which was a surge of 41% compared to the previous year even India retained top spot of 25.5 billion real time payment transactions which was followed by China with 15.7 billion transactions. Even in, twen in uh, 2020 the transaction volume shared in India stood at 15.6 percent and 22.9 percent for instant payment and other electronic payments. So, over here you can see that how uh, even COVID uh, due to COVID uh, reasons also people have so much adopted the electronic pay payment system and are now feeling it very very convenient and safe. So, with this I am now uh, ending up my session over here for detailed understanding you can go to these references. Thank you.